Hey everyone, I'd like to share a neat uh, hack that I did to my bike so I can uh, use extra gears, you know, the big gears for climbing without having to break the bank. Uh, in this video, I will show you the parts that I used and where to buy them. I won't be explaining anymore on how to tune them because you know you can find uh, a lot of these uh, tips on, on the internet so let's start so let me just uh, your attention so what I did this is actually a uh, SRAM XX1 11 speed now I wanted to have more gears and use a 50 50 uh, teeth gear without having to spend so much on upgrading to uh, 12 speed or Garbarook gears or KCNC uh, uh, cages. So, what I did is so I bought the, the gears, the cards. Uh, ZTTO made in Taiwan will set set you back around uh, $150 okay and uh, ceramic uh, jockey wheels pardon the helicopter part of uh, again like I said uh, ceramic jockey wheels for both the bottom and the upper. I will explain to you uh, the gearing. Okay, the chain. Uh, well, I opted to change my chains. I, I have not changed my chain for quite some time already. And uh, with the setup, you'll be able to to add more links on the chain. Thus, uh, thus having it shift better going towards the big ring. Now you also have to change the B-screw. A little bit longer, maybe about five millimeters longer. Okay, so I will prove to you that it will shift like a dream. Okay, so check it out. No problem. All the way to the big ring. Now, if you notice, I still have a lot of space with the small cogs to the biggest ring. That is because from the original 13 teeth of the XX1, I changed this to 11 teeth. So that would give me space uh, between the big ring and the jockey wheels. Ideally, you should have at least 5 mm of space, 5 millimeters of space here. Now, with the big jockey wheels, I changed this into, if I'm not mistaken, these are 16 teeth jockey wheels. Now, why is that very important? Because when you change, when you change it to, to 16 teeth, it actually lengthens the cage. It makes it longer. It makes it longer and when it's longer you can add links already without the chain sagging so the B screw you just need to adjust it a little bit so that that's the hack actually that's the hack already so no problem with shifting look at that I haven't used this bike for a long time because it's locked down here in my country the chains are not really lubricated well, but and yet it shifts like a dream. No problem. I got, I kind of got this idea when I change the cage of my road bike to oversized ones. I, I'll show it to you. right here right here so 
this is a new trend now changing the the cage to bigger jockey wheels they say that uh, it performs better uh, but uh, honestly I don't really see <laughs> any any changes on that I went a little bit extreme with my gravel I know that you're going to react violently about this but I hope you can indulge me if you notice this is a Teagra uh, group set. I changed this into an 1142. My uh, chain wheels are uh, GXP, GRX uh, 4630. Now, what I did since the Teagra, uh, you could not use bigger jockey wheels. What I did is I, pry, I, I pried open the the guide at the back so that it can accommodate i think this is an 18 teeth jockey wheel and what i did but i don't think you need to do this is i i, I put a cable tie instead that's the cable tie well with the with the gravel i i used uh i used uh an extender this is an extender again no problem with the shifting. Uh, again, I changed the jock wheels on top into 11 teeth. Those are 11 teeth. So, yeah. If you want to try it, save a lot of money. Uh, I guarantee you, again, shifts like a dream. No problem. Thank you for watching.